I'm an adult. I shouldn't have a Twitter account. It doesn't even sound like technology. It sounds like an old-timey small-town disease. You hear about Bob? No, what happened? Oh, he's got the Twitter. <laughs> There are people who discipline their kids with hot sauce. They like put a little dab of hot sauce on the kid's tongue when he messes up instead of spanking because they think it's less traumatic than spanking a child. <laughs> yeah, because you carry a bottle of punishment everywhere your family goes. <laughs> um, she was walking around, she had one of those like crushed velour suits and everything like that with the juice gum booty. But she was like at least 50 ish. You know? <laughs> it's not to say you can't wear like juice gum booty. But it should, should at least have an expiration date next to the juice. <laughs> uh, no, it just doesn't look like juicy, you know, expired 1977. <laughs> I saw a, a, a live band of pianos one time, I swear to God, this professional musician on stage, the guy gets up, does like an hour set, he gets up to some asshole from the crowd, walks up to him and starts bragging to him about how good he is in the video game rock band. <laughs> Seriously, like, what a fuck. It's like walking up to a soldier on his way to Iraq and being like, listen dude, I'm pretty sweet at Halo. <laughs> The cocaine bee? Don't you remember the bee? You heard that picnic outside and there was some cocaine on the picnic table and the bee landed on the table and you just took the glass and you put it over the bee and you put it over the mound of cocaine and the bee walked around in the cocaine for like five, ten, like a fucking hour and then you took the glass off there and was like, shoo! Yeah. Like when I have sex with a girl, it's more like she's uh, reading a really interesting story than you think.